ellipse by oblong method oblong method is a special method for drawing an ellipse after reading the problem if the given data is major axis length and minor axis length then you can choose this method if the given data is eccentricity and distance between directrix and focus you can go for the general method now let us start drawing the ellipse using the oblong method first step is draw the major axis with the given length call the major axis as ab next locate the midpoint of the major axis and name it as o then draw a perpendicular to ab at point o with minor axis length and name this as cd that means this cd length is 15 from o this is 25 this is 25 oc is 25 od is 25 draw a line parallel to ab passing through c like this draw one more line parallel to ab and passing through d like this then here draw a line parallel to cd passing through a here draw another line parallel to cd passing through b then automatically you will get a rectangle like this this rectangle length is length of the major axis and width is length of the minor axis then these corners you name as ef gh then divide this ae into four equal parts here to divide this into four equal parts you can use the inclined line method after dividing this into four equal parts you can erase that inclined line finally we require four equal parts like this here name them as 1 dash 2 dash and 3 dash then divide ao also into four equal parts whatever number of divisions you are taking here in between ae same number of divisions you have to consider in between ao that means ae and ao you have to divide into same number of equal divisions here you have to give the numbering like this 1 2 3 that means while giving the numbering you have to assume this point a as origin if this is origin you will get 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash etc and here you will get 1 2 3 3 like this then draw a line joining c 1 dash c 2 dash and c 3 dash something like this you have to draw three lines after that draw a line joining d1 and extend this d1 line until it touches the c1 dash line like this now this intersection point you call as some p1 then repeat the same procedure with respect to other two and three points draw a line joining d2 extend it until it touches the c2 dash line this intersection point is p2 then draw a line joining c3 and extend it until it touches c3 dash line this intersection point is p3 okay if you join a p1 p2 p3 and c we will get 1/4 of the ellipse we have to repeat the same procedure at the remaining three areas here some people follow some shortcut method by taking symmetric lines don't follow that concept if you follow that concept that is the symmetricity concept you are not following the oblong method so at remaining these three areas also you have to follow the same oblong method now divide this af into four equal parts name here something like this this is 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash because the a is origin you will get the numbers increasing order like this because this is origin from origin onwards numbers will go on increasing that's why next step is draw the line joining d1 dash d draw a line joining d1 dash then draw a line joining c1 and extend it then automatically here you will get q1 then draw a line joining d2 dash then from c2 you draw a line and extend this until it touches this d2 dash line this point is q2 then draw a line joining d3 dash from c3 you draw a line and extend it until it touches this line this is q3 then draw a smooth curve passing through all these points then one half of the ellipse is completed at this side also you have to follow the same procedure now divide this bh into four equal parts now b is the origin that's why you will get the increasing order of the numbering like this 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 
here you have divide this ob into same number of equal parts 4 here b is the origin that's why you will get the increasing order like this 1 2 3 then try line joining c1 dash then try line joining d1 and extend it until it touches the c1 dash line this is p1 point then try line joining c2 dash then try line d2 and extend it this is p2 then try line joining c3 dash here d3 line you join and extend it this is p3 then you will get this portion of the ellipse repeat the same procedure here this is 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash d1 dash c1 and extend here you will get q1 then d2 dash c2 extend it this is q2 then d3 dash c3 extend it this is q3 then draw a smooth curve joining these points in this way you can complete the ellipse using the oblong method